This will take electricity and we'll put it into the lateral frontal lobe and inferior surface of the temporal lobe. You can turn this knob and it will start the stimulation. It's kind of like pull your own rope cord. I like, <laughs> I like that. All right, here goes nothing. Recently, one of my deep web searches led me to a Google document that shared a number of people's experiences with TDCS, transcranial direct current stimulation. As it turns out, people have been zapping their heads for years using various DIY methods in an attempt to expand their brain power. Yellow light number one and yellow light number two are the settings used to treat depression, anxiety, and insomnia. Digging further led us to the Wright State Research Institute in Dayton, Ohio, which has recently been conducting and advancing research on TDCS. Researchers here have been studying the effects of electricity on the brain, using an electrical current in the hopes of improving performance in tasks such as learning, healing, and even flying drones. This is a long way from the Frankenstein practices of psychiatrists in the 40s and 50s. I have discovered the great ray that first brought light. We will put one electrode on your left arm, one electrode on your right temple. We'll ask you to look at the stereograms and identify pictures, and we'll do that for as long as you'll tolerate it. So I turn the knob and we're... Turn this knob. Good to the, go? Yep. Either way? Either way, doesn't matter. You should start to feel some current. Yep. Arm feels kind of numb. Um, the, the head feels a little bit like uh, when your leg falls asleep, pins and needles. All right, let's give this a go. It's actually quite a nice feeling. And your 10 minutes is up. Unfortunately, my brain wasn't altered in any noticeable way. But since we came all this way, my producer Justin decided to give it a try. He's never shy of a little experimentation. Right. So now you can see the current is ramping up. Do you taste the metal in your mouth? Yeah. 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 Some people do. It tastes like pennies in my mouth. We can switch the polarity just so you can experience it. That's the one that makes you just not be able to figure anything out. Yeah. I mean, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> I did, um, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I can't. Uh, <laughs> I feel anxious, actually. I feel like like something's supposed to happen. And I, I'm notoriously laid back. <laughs> the Institute is currently funded by private companies interested in alternative medical treatments or simply the promise of advancing memory. But it is also funded by the United States Air Force. Uh, right now it takes about four people sitting in kind of a, a mock-up cockpit to fly a UAV. And what we're trying to do is get humans to the point where one human can fly four UAVs and not need all of this, all this background support. So really try to make humans more efficient and optimize their role in that unmanned aircraft system. Maybe we just make humans better, make humans think faster, make humans more efficient, make humans' brains uh, better accustomed to uh, working in, in the types of data and environment that, that we know that they'll have to work in in a military setting. I can tell you for a fact we are not building weapons and we are not building soldiers without conscience. We are trying to take a guy who is overworked, underpaid, and uh, dancing as fast as he can and help him to make fewer mistakes.